Hello everybody, my name is Mark. Welcome to another one of my RuneScape videos. And in this video, quick and easy, I am going to show you a very simple guide on safe cracking, uh, how to get to the safes, the locations, and also the level requirements that you need to get to the safes. And so, Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right on into this. Okay, here we go. So, uh, the first safe that you're going to go to is going to be over in Edgefield. So, you're going to bring up your Lodestone network and you're going to click on the Edgefield Lodestone and you're going to teleport over there. And very close to that lodestone is going to be your first safe. Okay, so here we are. And the safe is going to be in this general store right next door to the lodestone. So you walk into the door like this. And then you're going to climb up this ladder like that. And I'm going to make the assumption that you have your stethoscope. You have your loot bag. And then when you get here, the safe is going to be down here in the corner. And all you got to do is click your mouse on the safe and crack that puppy open. Okay, so the safe has been cracked. And as you can see, when I right click, it says examine safe looted. So moving on to our second safe. So we're going to bring up the lodestones and we're going to teleport down to Lumbridge. And there's going to be two safes in that area very close to the lodestone, as you will see here in a second. So, okay, here we are. Now, your first safe is going to be up here to the north. And you can do this in any order that you want. And then you're going to open the door. And you're going to go inside and you're going to climb up the stairs like that and the safe is right in that door and you are going to click your mouse on the safe and you are going to crack that baby open okay moving on to the second safe now we are going to climb down the stairs and go back out the room and now we're going to head to the south and if you can see in my little mini map where that axe is that I clicked my mouse that's where the second safe is going to be. So you're going to go in that door. You're going to climb the stairs. And right there is the safe. So you go ahead, click your mouse on it, and crack that baby open. Okay, that's done. Now, moving on to our next area, we are going to bring up our uh, lodestone network and we're going to go to the drainer village lodestone so we'll click on that teleport your way over there and then there's going to be a couple of safes in that area okay so here we are at drainer sorry drainer and uh, now we're going to head up to the north and we are going to go inside of the haunted house or the, actually I guess it's called the manor and so you can see in my mini map those little thieving icons that tells you right off the bat where the safes are so open the large door and then you're gonna go over here to the left go in the door and you are going to crack these baby safes open and there's two of them which makes this a nice little area here so crack them open and uh, then we'll move on to the next area okay both of those safes have been cracked now we're going to go to the second area and it's probably fastest to click back to the drainer village lodestone even though you could very easily walk down there actually i don't know that you can because this large door locked itself on me like it's going to trap me in there or something so we're back here at the drainer village lodestone now we are going to go south and we are going to head down to the wise old man's house. And the way you can tell easily where it is is by this little green icon. It's the building just to the left of it. 
uh, the lower left of it. And so we are going to go in his house, open the door like that, go inside the building, and then we are going to climb up the stairs and right there in the corner over there, uh, we are going to crack that safe open just like the other ones before. And then when we finish this, we are going to move on to the next area. Okay, this next one is nice and quick and easy to get to. You are going to right click on your wicked hood and you are going to teleport over to the wizard's tower. And then we are going to go down the floor, to the third floor. The, uh, the wicked hood teleports you to the top floor. And then on this floor, you can see my mini map where the thieving icons are. That's where the safes are. So we are going to walk into those areas and let's do this one first. And right there is our first safe. We are going to crack that baby open. Okay, now that's done. And we are just going to walk to the other side of the room. And it's actually in the lower one. And uh, the safe is right there. And we are going to crack that baby open. Okay, this is the last safe that you're going to be doing in this first video. And uh, you are going to teleport over to Varrock. And while we're waiting for it to teleport, let me just tell you that you need to have your lock pick in order to do this. And also let me say that this will be for when you hit level 65. Uh, the first safes you're going to do when you're level 62. And uh, there is a safe inside of the Varrock Castle on the top floor, but you have to be level 65 to be able to do it. And it's a little bit of a walk. It's up to you whether you want to spend the time doing it. It might even be more efficient for you to skip this one and just to maybe make a cycle on the, on the first safes that I showed you. Uh, but if you want, if you hit level 65, then you can come here to Varrock and you saw me teleport to the lodestone and you're going right here in the castle and you climb up the staircase and then you're going to go in the side door right over here and then you are going to climb up this ladder which will take you to the top floor uh, and then you're going to go out this door like this and you're going to go to the other side and on the other side if I show you right here, it says pick lock treasury door, and that's why you need the lock pick. And it might take a few tries to get in there, uh, and you see that I'm failing to pick it. Uh, if you look in the lower left corner, my chat box is showing failures, and I failed about five or six times, but it, it doesn't take that long. And there's two safes in here, which probably makes the walk worth it. So probably you do want to include this in your safe cracking route once you hit level 65 because there's two safes right here next to each other and this will complete all the safes that you can do when you're level 62 all the way to level 68 and when you hit level 65 you can do these two safes and then when you finish this and finally you're you hit uh, level 69 then you can move on to the next set of safes which uh, I'm going to do a video on those safes after this one so uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Any questions or comments, feel free. And I will see you in the next video. Happy runescaping and ciao.